Hello, friends. Happy Friday. I'm going to wait a little bit to see who hops on. It has been a long week, and it's going to be some quick, quick cocktails. Anyway, I hope everybody's had a great week. It is like getting cold here. There's a cold front blowing through, all that good stuff. I um, really don't like cold weather. Just don't like cold weather. So anyway, if you're watching this on the replay, always type in the comments that you're watching on the replay. And if you are on here live with me, it is an interactive um, segment or episode or whatever you want to call it. Um, and so I always like to hear from all of you. So I'm going to give it just a little bit. And uh, I'm actually trying to do something different today because I am... I have no special guest, so I have no male commentary today, and it's all me. So you know this is a very um, amateur, I'm going to call it it's an amateur um, video, if you will, an amateur video. Okay, I'm just not, just not good at that. So I now have my little mouse, so when somebody actually makes a comment i have a way of putting it up on the screen from over here so isn't that cool i, I finally thought of that after 75 episodes or so so here i have a mouse to operate the computer from back here so anyway guys we're gonna get started uh, because i'm a little tired today if you uh, watched my stories earlier, I went clay shooting today. It was a, uh, a, an extreme experience for someone that does not shoot guns, a shotgun, a gun, any gun. So go check my stories out. You might be entertained. I thought it was entertaining. Really entertaining. Okay. We are going to do a Cajun martini. Cajun Martini. Um, so last week, I know that I I talked about. Um, see, hey Laura, see I can put you up on the screen. That's pretty good. Yay. Um, I started an infusion. I did two infusions last week. That's been infusing all week. So one was a jalapeno um, infused vodka and the other was lemon infused vodka okay so uh, yeah you hear the you hear the dogs they're they're back there and so I have so I did two two infusions jalapeno and lemon so today I'm going to use the jalapeno infused vodka to make the Cajun martini. So, um, anyway, this, this particular drink has, ha, calls for it a little bit differently of how you infuse it. So, um, long story short, I put in this nice little jar, it's been in the freezer. I filled it up about halfway with the infused vodka. And then I added three ounces of vermouth into it and put it in the freezer. Okay. Then guess what? That's the Cajun martini. So we're going to actually put, I'm going to put about four Four ounces in this shaker. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid. I'm really afraid of what this is going to taste like, actually. So we'll see. We shall see. Keep it. It's all ready. Okay. Okay, 
gonna go in this little glass here. Pardon the dogs. Um, okay, it does call to garnish with a pickled vegetable. I don't have pickled vegetables. So guess what? I'm gonna add fuel to the fire and I'm adding jalapeno stuffed olives to this. So there you go. I'm gonna stick it over here for y'all to see. Because I will take a sip of it in a minute. I probably should do that now, right? Let's see. I'm a little scared that it's going to catch my tongue on fire. Oof. It is, it's got a kick, that's for sure. I like it because it's really icy because it was in the freezer. Well, that's, that's, if you like spice. So I have, I have my infusions. Oh, what I did do today. So I'm going to, I'm going to backtrack for just a second. If you want to do infusions, because I really wasn't familiar on how to do them. There's various ways of how you do it, but I put in three, no, two jalapenos seeded sliced and let it sit in that vodka for a week. And I, I took the jalapenos out today and yeah, so I labeled it and then I have another one over here that's lemon vodka. So I had like three lemons in that, let it sit for a week. And then I threw that out. So I've got two and I'm trying to, I've got another jar over here that I can do another infusion. So if you got any ideas for infusions, I wanted to do a bourbon or a whiskey infusion, something, something different. I mean, I guess I could do, you know, you know, you can do tequila or rum or something, but I'm, I'm thinking of bourbon for some reason. I'm thinking some kind of bourbon ish infusion. So let me know if you think of something that I need, cause I've got an, I've got an open slot, open jar over here that I can do an infusion with. So, all right, let me see if I have, what I have left in here. No. Okay. Okay. Next one. <laughs> this one's called a banker's lunch. It's all I got. I have no idea how they come up with these names, but I will go through. Hold on, guys. I'm making noise, lots of noise. Lots of noise while I'm doing that. Because this one's going to go in this kind of a glass and it's not going in a. Um, Okay, we're gonna start with vodka. I'm trying trying to uh, go through all this vodka. I have lots of vodka. Okay, just lots. One and a half. Ah, I'm done. Okay. Belvedere, isn't that a pretty bottle? Okay, one down, several to go. Okay, one and a half ounces of vodka. Half 
half an ounce of dry vermouth, and this is what I have on hand. It's Dolan dry vermouth. Uh oh. Let's see. Ha! Hey, Mike. How are you, sir? I need you back here in your tuxedo. <laughs> um. Okay, then a half an ounce of orange liqueur. And I have a story about it. I always use this. But, and I'll be quite honest, somebody can tell me. I also have just orange liqueur, right? <laughs> so, can anybody tell me out there if there's a difference, if this is just the fancy brand of... Um, uh, orange liqueur on oh, daddy duty. Okay. <laughs> um, if this is a different mixture of orange and this is pure orange, I haven't even opened this, but I, I went, I went to go buy this. It's been a while and they didn't have any, they were totally out. So I ended up buying this brand but never opened it because when I went back to the liquor store, they had this. So anyway, I have to, I have to do some research on that. So if anybody wants to, um, if anybody wants to tell me, Google it, somebody Google that and tell me. Okay. Half an ounce. Hey Mike, I use the, um, the jalapeno infused vodka in that drink. Just saying. It's pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty. Okay. And then uh, one and a half ounces of grapefruit juice. So yes, I do have grapefruit juice. So I just kind of poured it. I have a big old jug of it because I like grapefruit juice. So I have it. All right, let's see. And what did you say, Mike? Good. Uh, it's good. It's spicy. I'll go over. Okay. Grapefruit. It come, says I need to do a grapefruit twist. I, I don't have a I don't have a grapefruit to do a twist. So anyway, so let's see. Yes, this is the baker's baker's lunch, Michelle. I'll go. I'm gonna. I'll go through them both of them again, just so that you guys know what they are, and if you want to make them, you can. I like that. It's kind of different because it's got vermouth in it. You know, it's, it's got a, it's very different. I'm wondering though, if you just did instead of this, because Cointreau has, um, it's sweet and bitter orange peels is what it says. So it's a blend. The other one just, it just says it's orange liqueur. So, um, anybody out there that's uh, in the mood to Google, please let me know what the difference is between Cointro and orange liqueur, or is it just, this is orange liqueur and it's a fancy name for it, right? Okay. All right. This one, I'm going to go back just so everybody knows. This is called a Cajun martini. Both of these cocktail cocktails can be found on liquor.com. So I'm shouting out liquor.com. Okay. Cause you know, I, that's where I kind of find stuff. You can search anything on that website and you're good to go. So the Cajun martini is 
jalapeno infused vodka mixed with dry vermouth and you put it in your freezer. You get it really, really cold, okay? And it, they say to, to store it in the freezer. And I think that's what makes it, it just gives it a really good flavor. So it, it this, all it is, is like I said, jala, jalapeno infused vodka with vermouth. So the amount, I took this little jar and get it where you can see it over here. It's like a little, I keep, I got these off of Amazon. Okay. Cause you can find anything on Amazon, right? And I, I bought them to do, like, I keep lime juice and lemon, fresh lime juice and fresh lemon juice in them. You can do, you know, oil mixes, dressings, whatever. Here. So, I filled this up probably where it is now at that level of vodka, of the infused vodka. And then I put three ounces of dry vermouth in there and shook it up and put it in the freezer. Okay. Then you're going to take, I did four, this is a little four ounce thing, little four ounce uh, cocktail glass here. I did four ounces in the shaker and got it really, really cold and then put in this glass with some jalapeno stuffed olives or you may use a pickled vegetable of your choice, whatever that may be is what it says. So that's what this one is. Okay. It's got a kick. There's no doubt because jalapenos were, you know, in the, in, in, being infused for a week. And I actually threw in there last week. I had um, some that were sitting. I had infused some in a jar that probably for six months. I think that, I don't even know how long. And I just dumped it in there. So it's got a, it's got a kick. There's no doubt it's a kick. Kick. Okay. This one is called Baker's Lunch. This one has vodka. I just happened to have Belvedere. Well, I started with Dripping Springs. I'm out of Dripping Springs, which is okay. One, two, three. I have opened this one, and y'all know I'm a vodka drinker, so um, all of, and this one's from Poland. I didn't know Belvedere was from Poland. Okay. Um, people love to buy me vodka. So I have opened this one. I got three more unopened back here of plain vodka. So I don't need any more vodka at this particular time. So one and a half ounces of vodka, half an ounce of dry vermouth. Like I said, this is the vermouth that I have is a Dolan brand. There's many different brands out there. I use a half an ounce of Cointreau for the orange liqueur. It calls for orange liqueur. That's what I use. And then one and a half ounces of grapefruit juice. So whatever, whenever I buy the fresh squeezed grapefruit juice at HEB in their fresh squeezed juice section. Um, so anyway, let's see what, let me see. Let's see, corn show has a smoother flavor than, oh, than Grand Marnier. Yeah, and I don't usually use Grand Marnier a lot. It's used in many popular and toxic cocktails. Yes, it is. That is exactly. I want to make, I need to make a sidecar. Yeah. Um, so that's that one. Yeah. So that's what it is. But add this, but find out if Cointreau is considered an orange liqueur. That's the question, Michelle, is if it's considered an orange liqueur. And if it is, then I'm fine. If not, you know. It, I think it's to each his own. It's just a suggestion. So whatever orange liqueur you have. But anyway, going back to the grapefruit juice. I buy that at H-E-B Fresh Squeeze because I actually, um, I use a little bit of grapefruit juice when I make mimosas. Um, so I, I drink a lot of grapefruit juice. Okay, she's going to check that out. The other thing I like um, if you, if you have a cocktail that calls for sparkling pink grapefruit juice, this is the app. Personally, just, just my opinion, guys. Fever Tree Sparkling Pink Grapefruit. 
You can now buy them like in these bottles, which is good. You can also buy them in the, like little bitty cans. And I don't know if they have little bitty and, and bottles and smaller bottles, but I kind of like this because I can just get one at a time and open and, you know, and do it because um, I also like, this is a great brand for tonic and for club soda and ginger beer. So let me see. Yeah, these are, the, these are the little bottles that they have. They have little club soda bottles too. This may even taste good because <laughs> you know I'm always up for mixing stuff up, right? Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking some club soda on this. Just because probably even even this probably would have been good with it, but maybe too much grapefruit juice. You can do you can kind of top it with whatever you might like. So that's that's that. Oh, here's the other. They also have um Here's the other ones. Ginger beer. They, all, they also make little bitty cans of club soda too. You know, if you want. But this is, I get this at HEB. Um, and I really like it. Um, yeah. But you know, you can always buy HEB brand club soda because it's no big deal, right? All right. What you guys think? Which one will you, will you try? This one, this one you should have, you know, you might have all those ingredients fairly accessible. Um, this, I, I do not think um, you can buy a jalapeno flavored vodka. Can you? I've not seen it. All right, Michelle, let's see. It's an orange flavored triple sec based on what it said on Google. Oh, yeah, because you got triple sec, too. So you got triple sec. You have orange liqueur. You have Cointreau. You have Grand Marnier. But Grand Marnier is not. Um, here's Grand Marnier. I don't think. Well, it's orange and cognac. That's what Grand Marnier is. So that's not just orange. This has got cognac in it here. But this is really good in, in margaritas. Two. Probably need to do a show on the various margaritas, right? Um, but yeah, I saw a recipe the other day that used elderflower in a margarita, and I'm gonna have to try that because I love elderflower. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that next time or do some various things on on margaritas. It's too spicy. Well, you know what, Michelle? As far as spice, it depends on what you can handle on the spice spectrum. Okay. I'm a spice freak. This probably is not spicy. It's got a little bit of kick, but to some, it may be way overboard. So if you do want to infuse vodka, I would probably cut down and only do one jalapeno and only infuse it for probably a couple of days and pull it out. The longer you leave it in there, the stronger and the more spice you get. So cut that in half. I do have, well, and this is a little, this is a little different too. This is chili and cucumber tequila. So that's why I was wondering, I might have to just, you know, go take a tour around the liquor store and see what infusion, or like what flavored, but I love flavored liquors, okay? I'm big on, um, I'm just big on that. I just like them. Um, and that's usually what I use the most whenever I use martinis or make cocktails. I like the flavored vodkas. Um, and there's some good ones out there, some good infusions. Smirnoff has got some good infusions because... Those flavors are added after um, or during distillery and not after. So there's not a lot of sugar. So they're distilled with it. 
and infused with it. So you have to kind of look at that if you um, from a sugar content. I will say that Deep Eddy, and I like Deep Eddy grapefruit vodka that they have, but it's got a lot of sugar in it because they got, they add their sugar, they add their flavoring after it's distilled. So you have to look at those things if you're really kind of trying to watch um, sugar intake or just, you know, if, if you're very sensitive to those things, then you need to probably look at that. Um, that's why sometimes um, when you do your own infusions, then you kind of know what's added to it. So when you infuse this, because vodka has no carbs and it has no sugar in it, it's, it's always the additives that go in there, just very similar to a cocktail, right? If you're going to add simple syrup or if you're going to add those liqueurs in there that are very high in, um, very high in sugar too. So um, kinky pink is, oh, it's infused blood orange passion fruit. Okay, where do you, Sharon, where do you find Kinky Pink? Is that, that that's the brand of it, the name of it? Because I've not ever, I've never heard of Kinky Pink, but they also have a pink tequila. It depends on how it's made and what barrel I've learned, but there is a pink tequila that I would like to get and try. Um... And I don't know if that's how that's made. I'd have to do some research on that. But yeah, Sharon, let me know if Kinky Pink is a good, I've, not, I've never heard of that. Blood or, and, and then is it whenever, so let me just say this. So as you see, this is clear. This is, you can't tell, this is clear. So let me show you. Okay. I have... Okay, so this is an absolute grapefruit vodka here. Okay, let me get, let me come back here to you. Yes, at any local liquor store. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at that. You know, I may be the the, the lady in the liquor store that gets a basket, like a rolling cart, <laughs> when I go through the liquor store, because I may find all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'll have to look at, I'll have to look at that. Okay. I just pour it over ice. Oh, and Sprite. Okay. Put some club soda in that, Sharon. Sprite. I don't even, do I even have Sprite? I haven't. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay. So this is, um, this is the grapefruit absolute. So you see how it's, how it's clear here, guys. This means that the flavoring was distilled with the vodka and not added after. So when you start looking at your uh, your flavored vodkas or flavored spirits and whatever, if it's a dark color, then you know that they added that after the distilling process. And that's where the sugar comes in. Okay. So who's that? Hey, Stacy. Um, anyway, and for those of you that are on here that are the class of 1982, Reunion info got posted on class page today. Just saying. So um, this is the this is a good one too. Real summary. So the other the other uh, and I like Smirnoff. Um, do I have that here? Smirnoff also has. I'm just going through liquor today. I'm just giving y'all some education because you know why not? It's Friday. Smirnoff Zero Sugar Infusions Watermelon and Mint. Okay, you can see how clear that is. So it tells you that they just they added they they flavored it during the distilling process. Okay, so this is a good one too. This is a watermelon and mint, and I think um, um, it says here vodka infused with natural flavors and essence of real botanicals. So. That's that one. And then the regular one, this is the, an orange. So, and it's clear too. So, oh, what happened? There we go. Um, yeah. So, those are the, I mean, I have various ones I like to try. Oh, so, let me just show you the difference. I'm going to show you, okay, let me see which one is this one. This, where's my peach? Okay, this is what I'm showing you. So this is an orange, and and I have nothing. You know, I'm not. 
here to make judgment on brands or whatever, whatever you like. You see this one? This is Deep Eddy Peach. Okay. And it, and it tells you on the, it doesn't really, let me see if it tells you on the back. But it just says that it's real peach, gluten-free, distilled 10 times, and it's from Austin. It doesn't tell you that it was distilled. Um, let's say What's made in Russia? Is that made in Russia? Which one? You think Smirnoff is made in Russia? I have to look. I'll have to go back and look. So, yeah. So look at this. And I found this out. And I and let me tell you, I was a, I would drink that Deep Eddy grapefruit vodka and club soda like till the cows came home. And I kept wondering why, why I always had a headache. It was because of the sugar content in it. Okay. So I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's Smirnoff. Let me see. Premium vodka. I don't think it's well. I don't know. Does anybody? Can somebody? Uh, produced in Connecticut. Produced by Smirnoff Company, Norwalk, Connecticut. Produced in the United States. So this is not. So and we know this is Austin. So what else? You think uh, Absolute? Maybe. Please, please don't tell me. Please do not tell me that Absolute is made in Russia. I know that. Let's see. Now, Sweden. Produced in Sweden, imported by Absolute Spirits Company, New York, New York. So, and then Belvedere is Poland. What else do I have? What else you want to know? I don't know. I've got a bunch of stuff back here. You want me to look to see what's, yeah, I agree. It's like, uh, we're going to stop. I don't think this one, let me, no, that's all. All your tequilas from Mexico. I don't think this one does because I love my elderflower. I don't, I would not think. Uh, oh, there may be, oh, this one. Hold on. Okay, this is a, I got this. This is a brand of tequila, I mean, a, a vodka that's been, I've, ne I've not opened it. It's given to me as a gift. Um, it's in the rotation back here. Uh, I like the bottle. Let's see. No, produced by the Black Vodka Company, London, England, and imported by Heartland Spirits Group, James, Jamestown, Ohio. So, okay. We're good in... I don't think I, I don't think I have anything. Um, yeah, I don't, if, is there, is there a certain, um, what would be, what would be a Russian vodka? What would be the name of a Russian vodka? Can somebody answer that for me? Can somebody Google that while y'all are on here? Google, uh, Russian vodkas. And let me know. And then I can determine. This is what I do. It's kind of like you kind of mix it and you might make it a little bit better. Stolies. Oh, Ooh, that's right. They pull. I've, I've not. I don't, I, don't have, I don't have any Stolies. So, okay. So I'm good there. Is there any other? Okay. What other spirits? Is there that, that are made in Russia? Can somebody tell me that? Still, yeah, it is, Sharon. Okay, so I don't have any Stoli, so I'm not, yeah. I just have, what I have back here, so I had that brand, I've got Belvedere, and I have Kettle One. Kettle one? No, I don't think so. Imported from Holland. So kettle one is Holland. Let's see. Yeah. 
I'm going to talk to Kelsey about, talks a lot about from father to son for 10 generations. But yeah, it's Holland. So this one's Holland, founded in 1691. Uh, what about any gin? Any gin? All right, y'all have me on a, on a, uh, this is also imported by Diego, Diego, Norwalk, Connecticut, but I don't know where it is imported. There's, it's imported from somewhere. Hold on. Guys, distilled gin, small batch gin. Um, cannot read that because I'm blind as a bat. Okay. I don't blah, 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 blah. Great Britain. Bottled, produced and bottled in Great Britain. That's that one. Lord, I need some to be able to see. But that's some small print. Okay. Any anything else? So that's all of oh. Huh, I would not think that Vermouth is. Oh, France. <laughs> okay. Vermouth is France. That vermouth, anyway. There's, uh, that's Dolan. Sweet Vermouth Gallo. California. <laughs> okay. All right. I know that they had showed something on the news the other day in regards to Russian vodkas or Russian spiritual. And there was like, there wasn't at, at one of the liquor stores. And I can't remember. They, um, was like pulled them all off, but it was a brand that I had not heard of before. So, uh, I kind of stick to my normal. Um, you know, I, I had gray goose for a long time. Actually what I used to do this distilling of the jalapeno was Frankie's, organic vodka, which was also a gift to me. And so I split it amongst the two, the jalapeno and the lemon, because it was a big, I mean, it was big. So that one's, that's organic. So it's organic vodka. So anyway, I have to say, if you like spice, go, go infuse you some jalapenos and some vodka and then put this, add the vermouth and put it in the, Put it in the freezer. So, not bad, guys. Not bad. I, I kind of like this. Is a, a nice, you know what? It's a nice sip. It, you can sip it. And that's, I mean, that's really all you need because obviously this is like four ounces of pure, almost pure vodka. That's enough, enough to put you to sleep. So, anyway. All right, guys. Anything else for me? This is the Baker's Modified <laughs> Baker's Lunch. <laughs> Pretty good. But yeah, that's it. What time is it? We did good. It's 6.39. We did 30 minutes. And I thank you guys for joining me. This was fun. I like interaction all the time on this Friday episodes of mixing it up with me. <laughs> mixing up with me. Cocktail Friday. All right, guys. I am going to let you guys go and have a great weekend. Stay warm. Those of us in Texas, because the cold front's blowing through, and let's pray that this is the last cold front. You're welcome, Michelle. The last cold front of the year. Okay, let's just keep our fingers crossed. So, all right, I am going to let me find my little brand. I'm gonna. I'm so happy that I figured this out with my little mouse over here that I don't have to get up and like cut you off. You know, I can learn something new every day or something I should have learned or should have known, right? So anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. Have a great weekend. Mwah. Love you. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.